Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing the Ninja Turtles 2022-1980s re-releases of the Ninja Turtles. And this is the entire set. We got Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo. But before we get on to the review itself, we're going to talk about what we did yesterday. I was off before I went to work yesterday. I woke up at 8 a.m. and there were yard sales everywhere. I went to a few. Some yard sales were overpriced, but I did get some stuff I'll be showing on my toy haul later on today. And, uh... I sold some stuff at my own yard sale because it was yard sale day, and I made 40 bucks reselling. But now that it's been a minute, we're going to look at each figure. First, we got 1980s Michelangelo. He's got his nunchucks, some throwing stars, some pizza, and some other weapons. Wow, dude, the shell opens up. That's what he says on the box. And we got product shots of all four figures and some artwork. I'm going to definitely keep this artwork for sure. And we got a nice product shot and bio of Michelangelo. Yeah, he's the party dude. That's what I know about Michelangelo from 1980s. That was a quick look at that figure. Next, we got Raphael. And this is... Pretty cool. Store it in my shell. Oh, that's cool. Speech bubbles and everything. He's got his scythes in there. He's got some throwing stars. He's got boomerang, pizza, and other weapons. That's cool. And they store in his back, and he got some more artwork. A bio. Raphael is the most attitude on the team. That's what I know about Raphael. Next, we got... Donatello, and yeah, Donatello with storage shell, and he says, load, look mama, no hands, ha ha ha, that's just fun, Donatello on his belt, they got the little insignias, he's got his staff, he's got some other weapons, he's got a slingshot, pizza, and throwing stars, that's just so cool, okay, Next one we're going to be looking at is the Leonardo. He's got his swords. He's got throwing stars, pizza, other weapons. Cool. Bag it in my sh shell. That's cool. Now we're going to look at the back of the figure. Got more product shots. And Leonardo is the leader of the team. That's what we know about Leonardo. So now that we've looked at each box, let's open some of these babies up. Oh, yeah. If we can get them to open here on channel, we'll see. I'm going to try not to damage the artwork if I can. I might just have to pull it off like this, pull it off, then put the box off to the side. Let's pull out the weapons. We're going to look at Leonardo's. Here's these little... Knuckle busters. Or I should say it like knuckle busters. Yeah. I don't know the proper things. Weapons, I guess. We got Leonardo's swords. If I can get them to come out. Come out. Oh, yeah. Those swords look pretty cool. Pretty decent, though, too. Now the little pizza. Little shredding disc. And the throwing stars. Come on, throwing stars. Come on out. There's one. They're stuck in there. <laughs> Talk about stuck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but there. We almost got them. Come on. 
And we got the little itty bitty throwing stars. You have to try not to lose those. Those are probably easy to lose. And next, we're going to pull out Leonardo. Come on, Leonardo. Out of your box. Sometimes you got to be a little rough with these plastic sleeves some days. <laughs> and there we got Leonardo articulation, full 360 with the arms. Leg can kick, kick back that far, but no knees or elbows on these old class figures. Now we're going to do the storage shell. Oh, I popped it off. Oh, that's bad. When you pop something off in the process, oh boy. Not my intention, but yeah, you store all the weapons here. Store the, uh, the uh, weapons here. This can go in there. I guess this won't fit in because it's weirdly designed. You put these in there. Store one of the throwing stars there. Maybe both. Oh, yeah, both will fit in here with these. And then you can add these in. And close it up. And there we go. He's all... Stored up with that. He can wield his swords like he did in the show, if I can get him to work. And look at those teeth. He's got the creepiest smile. Oh, yeah, that smile is creepy, huh? Especially for a 1980s toy. That is just so creepy. But otherwise, you can store his swords on his back. If I can get him to go in properly, that's the thing. There's one. And the other one can go on the other side if I get it in properly. There we go. Almost got it in. Almost. And come on. Come on. There we go, and storage for his swords. Ain't that cool? And he can hold on to his pizza and be like, nom, 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 nom. Pizza good for this turtle. And he can stand. Cool. Now let's open up another one. We'll start with Donatello. Same technique to save the artwork. We're going to have to get rough. A little bit rough. Then pull it out, put the box off to the side, lower the tripod because we're going to have to loosen all this stuff up, Hello's bow staff, the slingshot, oh, just drop that dagger piece, <laughs> don't you hate it when you're dropping stuff, there we go. <sighs> I should have done this over a pan, but uh, I guess there's no thinking in this process. They, I never liked that weapon to begin with, but you saw it when I showed it off. Got this little ham hammer, this little pizza axe. Got pizza. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> I'll find that later on and put it in the shell, but now we got all the accessories out. Let's get Donatello out of his package prison here. Another one bites the dust. Again, yeah, these are really well sculpted and articulated. But now we're going to show him wielding the other weapons. Here is the his bow staff, if I can get it to connect with his hand. Sometimes the trick is trying to connect these turtle weapons into their hands. Now he'd be like, beat you up with a stick and be like, tuh, tuh, 
giving you a taste of my bow staff. Dude, dude. Now we show him holding that off. Let's put it in a shelf for storage. <sighs> a little bit tricky to get in the shell because this packaging is like really weird. And yeah, this is cool, huh? Let's see what he looks like with the slingshot in hand. You can go like, sling some pizza. And then the little pizza axe would be like, eat my pizza axe tomahawk shredder. Oh yeah, with that. And now we're going to show off the storage feature, which is simple. Pop it open. Put the throwing stars in, like so. Like we did with this Michelangelo. Then we put the weapons in as storage. Yep. Close her up and give him his pizza. And you're like, num, 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 num. I'm going to keep doing that with these because they got pizza. It's a pizza eating noise. <laughs> Yeah. One down, two down, two to go. Next, we got Raphael. I'm going to open him out of his plastic prison. Pull him out, and the first weapon just fell on out. We're done with that. Now, this is going to be lowering the tripod quite a bit. He's got an axe and a mace weapon that's cool ball and chain mace he's got his size that's cool very accurate to the show got a boomerang another one of these pizza discs when i put these on my shelf we're gonna have him hold in the pizza and his weapons stored so there's all the weapons. Now let's get Raphael out. This thing is going to really fight me today, huh? There we go. Stubborn thing, wasn't it? But look at those grins. Look at that grin on Raphael's big... Scary face. Oh, that's cool. Now he can wield his scythe. If I can get him to wield both scythes, we'll show him off. Come on, Raph. Come on, Raph. Wield your scythe in hand. I might have to loosen his fingers up a bit. There's one. Aha, there's one. Let's see if we can get him... The other one in his hand. Come on. Come on, Raph. And there he is, wielding his scythe, ready to go. Eat scythe, Shredder. Okay. Now we're showing him off with his scythe. Let's get these scythe out of his hand without breaking them. There we go. And the store them. On his chest is very simple. Just plop him in the slots. Like so. Now we get to show him off with his other weapons. Here he is wielding the mace. It's an option. The boomerang. Let me like take this boomerang foot. And this weapon, the axe. Oh, yeah. Shh, shh. And now we get to store these weapons in his shell, which is very simple. Pop it open. Put the throwing stars in this peg here. Okay. And there we go. Now we store his other weapons in there. This axe. If I can get it to fit in there. There we go. 
the boomerang. If anything else in there? No, this is too big. But other than that, he can store most of the weapons he has here. And then you close them up. Put this scythe back in his sheath, and there we got Raphael. His articulation, same as the others. And heads do move. Definitely love some 1980s shell storage action. And now we'll have him wheeled in his pizza. And we'll have him wheeled in the ball and chain while his scythes are in his sheaths here. Weapons that they can wield while, while they're just standing there. We'll just have them hold the pizza and that mace there. One down, one to go. Okay, next one we're going to be opening up is Michelangelo. The party dude himself. And this makes another set of turtles I picked up. For my collection. I love picking these up. I got a 2015 set. 2012. 2018 set. And now. 2019-80s. So yeah. We got the weapons for Michelangelo. Looks like the other ones he has. Just fell out. Saving me trouble and pulling them out. He's got a flashlight. Turtle flight flashlight. The pizza disc. The throwing stars. Come on. And now let's get Michelangelo out of his package prison. Ugh. Okay. That was fun. But yeah. Let's look at Michelangelo. Head, the bodies are sculpted well. The hands move. The legs move. Michelangelo is a bit of a tight boy, so I have to loosen his legs up. Other than that, he looks cool. Let's give him his nunchucks. So he can go chuck in. Michelangelo can go chuck in. Sorry, they're all straight up and not just like, you know what I mean, the other way. <sighs> Booyakasha! Feel my chucks of fury shredder! They were supposed to be the other way, but after a while they'll probably loosen up. But now let's show off his other weapons in his hands. Let's store his nunchucks in his belt here. Yeah, that's going to be a lot more difficult. When I put him on the shelf, we'll just store him with his nunchucks in his hands. Here he's got this little weapon. I don't know what it is, but it's like a club. He'd go clubbing with that. Here he is with the turtle flashlight. Man, it's dark in here. I better turn on my turtle flashlight so I can see where I'm going. And here he is holding the pizza disc. Go num 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 num. I love pizza. But now let's put the nunchucks back in his hands. And then we're going to store his weapons in his shell. Very same as all the others. Flip it open. Connect the throwing stars into this peg here. And it can put all two of them right there. Put the flashlight. Backpack. This backpack. And... Can we fit this in his backpack? Yeah. Yeah. Everything I had just fit in his backpack with ease. So now he gets to wield his nunchucks and be nunchucking it. We go, Booyakasha!
And yeah, these are really well sculpted and painted. I'm definitely so glad I have this set here in my collection. So now let's go get my other sets from the shelves that are nearby. And we'll do a comparison with all the sets of Ninja Turtles I have. Both in 2015 and 2018. So I'm getting the 2015 set. There's half of them. Okay, grab the 2018 set. And this is probably the third set of complete Ninja Turtles I actually own as of 2023. So yeah, definitely a lot of fun these sets are. But we're going to do Leonardo next to his past incarnations, his new incarnations. Here is the 1980s Leonardo next to that one. And they both look good together. So myself. Okay, now the 2018 version. Not bad if I do say so myself. Except he doesn't like to stand. <laughs> so yeah. Definitely. Now let's get Michelangelo. And we'll do some comparisons with every Michelangelo I own. This one I gotta get standing because he doesn't like to stand. So if I can get him to stand. Come on, dude, stand. There we go. Here is the 20... 15 version of Michelangelo next to that. And of course, the Rise Ninja Turtles Michelangelo with some nunchucks I got from Final Faction just because they look good together. And that's the first comparison done. Let's do Raphael. First two are done. Two more to go. Let's see if I can get Raph to stand. Come on, Raphael. No time to be not standing on the job. Okay. Here is the 2015 next to the 1980s re-release from 2022. N new incarnation. They look good together. And of course, the Rise of Ninja Turtles 2018 version. Because I got it and it's awesome. Not a bad set, if I do say so myself, huh? That's for sure. And I'll give the extra weapon that I have to Michelangelo to give him another weapon. Yeah. All right, next we got Donatello. We'll do him next to good old, to him, his past selves. We'll flip open the shell and put the pizza in. Close her up. Now we're going to do these other incarnations. Here is the 1980s 2022 re release of Donatello next to his 2015 self, which is more poseable, and his Rise Ninja Turtles self, if I do say so myself. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. Is this 1980s re-release set worth picking up? I'd say yes. If you never had this set, pick up the 2022 1980s re-releases of the 80s Ninja Turtles. They are a lot of fun, and I'm definitely so glad to be adding these to my turtle set collection. These guys are a lot of fun, and they're awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Before I say move on and rock on and rock out, I'll be going on my toy hunt today, so I look forward to seeing what I can find today. And before I end this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.